Hey folks, Quitly Team here, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play for Surviving Mars. I really like this game. I will admit, it's not perfect. It's not perfect, but I really, really like it. I have over 300 hours into this. It's one of the games that I like to play a lot on my own, and I'm very eager to start a new Let's Play since, apparently, this game is still alive. Uh, a new developer has taken over surviving mars and is planning new content for it. so still published by paradox but it was never developed by paradox um and yeah another developer said hey well we'll keep it going so they've come out with a big new patch a big update called the tourism update that uh fairly dramatically changes how tourism works so we'll talk about that once we get into it there's also oh, good timing an in-game an in-dome building pack available it's just a cheap little dlc that adds some extra buildings into the game i do have that one and I'm very eager to give this a go. I do have some mods running. Hopefully they're not uh, all completely broken with the uh, the update or anything like that. Career AI just makes it... Oh, you don't actually get the description in game here. Oh, that's too bad. It, um, it does do a slight tweak to how the various pawns look for jobs. There's a few different versions of things like this. This is the one I've run... I've been running and it's the one that's been actually updated uh, most recently over here. Um... So it just means that your your little um, your little colonists will try to be a little smarter about how they uh, look to fill their jobs, especially if they have specializations. Uh, this one here by Chogi, who has tons of great mods on the workshop, makes it so that the forestation plant doesn't stop the forestation at forty percent. Uh, normally, the way it would do it is you would do that, and then after that, you would have to run the um, uh, the special projects where you're sending rockets to I don't know seed the clouds or something like that, um, which was just very slow, very time consuming, and so it's a small change. It makes a little easier if you want to go full ter terraforming which we may or may not in this particular game i don't know this uh clear and demolish just queues up so when you demolish a building it also salvages them in one click saves you a little bit of uh of, of just micromanagement rc commands normally if you have an anomaly you have to pick your rc explorer then right click on the anomaly here on the anomaly itself we get a little button that just calls the nearest explorer very handy Auto scan map, I believe, is uh, not currently working with the current version of the game. Not that it's a big deal. Automated tourism, I really, really like this mod. Uh, it works similarly to the automated trade. So you take one of your rockets and you just toggle on automated trade normally. And what it does is it just fills up with, you know, maximum rich metals and takes off, goes to Earth, and then immediately comes back home. That's built into the game. Automated tourism did something fairly similar with tourists. I've got it turned off because I don't know what kind of state this might be in given the dramatic change to how tourism works in uh, the new update. So I've turned that off. Drone load balancing just moves the drones from one hub to another, depending on the load. Um, there is currently, I'm playing uh, Hotfix number three has come out, but as of Hotfix number three, there is still a glitch in the game that there is a button that you can click that will soft lock the game related to tourism, which honestly is pretty bad that it's still in the game. That's kind of embarrassing. But Chogi has got a little fix for us just to make sure. I mean, if you don't hit that one button on one of your, overview screens it wouldn't be an issue but i've got that on there in case i you know accidentally click it so that'll fix things um mod config reborn just some ui stuff and then warp speed over here just changes the speed of the buttons so i think normally the um middle speed button is times two and the top speed button is times five this just changes them to be times five and times ten instead so we can run the game faster because the game can run quite quickly it's not cpu limited really so yeah who are we going to play as today? Well, I was looking at my achievement list, and I've noticed I don't have the achievements for Russia. I don't know if I've played as Russia before uh, or not. As Russia, there's a couple of achievements you can get. One is Gagarin's Legacy, which is to extract 10,000 resources from Mars before Sol 100. Um, and then there's another one. I think it's called No Pain, No Gain. No Pain, No Gain is considerably trickier because it requires you... Well, it's not... I mean, yes, trickier, yes, no, I don't know. Anyway, um, No Pain, No Gain requires you to play as Russia, have 500 population on a difficulty of 500% plus. So the issue is here is we really can't do both, probably. Um, Gagarin's Legacy, because here's the problem. With No Pain, No Gain, we're going to be running on a very, very hard map, which is going to limit the speed at which we can grow and expand because we're going to have to constantly deal with various disasters. As such, hitting the 10,000 resources before Soul 100 is likely going to be fairly tricky. So I'm going to be going for a 500% plus difficulty map, which means probably we won't be able to do the Gagarin's Legacy, but we'll try to get up to 500 pops to unlock the other achievement. It is actually the achievement that the fewest people have on Steam. There's a few achievements, I think there's five of them, that Steam reports as 0.6% of players having, um, including 
no pain, no gain, but no pain, no gain is like at the bottom of the list to indicate that like, you know, because we're probably chopping off digits, right? It's probably 0.65, 0.64, etc. So no pain, no gains at the bottom of the list. And it's the only one of those that I don't have. So we'll be going for it. Um, We'll probably, so we need to boost our difficulty challenge number above 500. Futurist is the one that I believe is considered, yeah, over here the most difficult. It doesn't give us much. We research breakthrough text faster. I guess that's cool, but it doesn't give us more breakthroughs, which is unfortunate. Like, if this was, you know, 30% more chance of getting breakthrough text, oh my god, that'd be amazing. So that first bit doesn't really matter much. We start with autonomous sensors. That's fine, but it's not a critically important tech in any way whatsoever so i think it's fair that futures is actually considered the hardest one colony logo um i mean the mars logo is really cool of course but we're gonna go with brussels sprouts obviously rival colonies will keep it the same game rules so here's the thing there are quite a few game rules in here that if um um what am i what am i looking to say uh, if you're going for achievements, you can turn on because a lot of them don't disable achievements. However, some of the ones that don't disable achievement, like Prefab Colony, so it starts you faster. Um, uh, what, what else do we have? Oh, Fast Rockets. Rockets travel faster. Um, these are really good and they don't disable achievements, so it's really good. However, they do diff lower the difficulty challenge, which is no good for us. Um, we could actually consider taking some things that might increase the difficulty um like armageddon over here hey well me more meteors isn't so bad actually last arc so we can only have the one uh colony winter is coming i definitely don't want to run that one i hate the cold waves probably more than others i don't know we'll probably just find a location on mars that's got high meters and that's going to be okay um mystery no we're going to explicitly choose a one of the hard difficulties to get the extra perk i think mars gate is going to be fairly manageable if i recall correctly this is the one where um enemy uh there's like rival like robotic drones running around on the planet so you just have to set up some guns to defend i think is going to be okay at some point my um my, my mystery completion list got got reset which is which is unfortunate but not a big deal okay so we're gonna go with that so we're 370 percent as is um russia is a fairly tough sponsor we do get a little bit passive research which is good because some of them don't but it has one of the lowest rare metals prices in the game some of them the 20 is the lowest but a lot of the um a lot of the sponsors have 25 30 i think some has 35 uh rare metals so we it's gonna be a little harder for us to make money with that we do start with an rc driller that should help though um, because it can extract resources from us, which is going to be convenient. Uh, it can only do metal and rare metals. Doesn't do concrete, doesn't do water. Uh, right. We start with a special building called a concrete plant, uh, which, uh, um, so it's like a regular concrete plant. It doesn't need a deposit though, but uses up fuel. So we can get infinite concrete wherever, but this doesn't like concrete's never really a problem, is it? So this is not terribly exciting. Uh, we do start with the fueled extractor tech so that we can extract faster as long as we, you know, use more fuel. Um, fueled extractor upgrade is free. So it doesn't cost anything for us to upgrade our extractors to use fuel, but then it still uses fuel. Uh, and then we do have a 50% discount to the fuel refinery prefab, which is going to be convenient. And extended travel time. This is going to be, um, that's actually going to be a little bit on the tricksy side. So we'll go with the default layout that it sends us. It does send us with an RC driller to start off with, which I guess is okay. Obviously getting the other RC things is going to be a high priority. We'll probably send an, a second rocket immediately with the extra RC stuff over here. Maybe not the RC safari. This is something new for the tourists. Um, and that's going to take us a while before we get to that point. So we're going to hit random here until we've got a start. That gives us, okay, over 500% difficulty. Now that's 550%. Um, let's try to keep it a little... Okay, 510. Ah, I would much rather everything except cold waves. I really hate cold waves. Although dust storms, obviously, it can actually be quite difficult as well. 550%. Okay, now that actually, here's the thing. This might not be so bad. Tons of metal, including rare metals, which is important. Not a lot of concrete, but first of all, our starting site is guaranteed to have some concrete, and we do have access to that special building that lets us extract concrete anywhere. It's also got lots of water and low on cold waves. Um, let's take this, 550%. It's a little higher theoretical difficulty than needs be, but might actually be ideal for us. So we'll go ahead and jump into there. Of course, there's a high chance we fail immediately. <laughs> Uh, very, 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 very possible. Welcome to Mars. Sup? How's it going? All right, let's pause the game right away. 
Um, so it has pre-scanned this area, and again, it, it I think, I, I don't know if it's um, guaranteed to scan an area with concrete, or what it is, is it scans an area randomly and then plops concrete there, but either way, we've got some available. Uh, we are going to have to choose some areas to scan, but the other thing is we do have an orbital probe, so we can free scan one area. It would be really nice to find some water right away. There's a high chance of water over here. It would be nice to get more water there. It'd be nice to find a place that has a, a little bit of everything. Concrete, metals, and water. Not a ton of buildable area, but we can scan out of it. Let me scan here. Ah, damn. Because what there is, there's these um, these milestones, right? And being the first person to find water on Mars is quite nice because we get some free science for that. Um, in terms of science priority... Um, Terraform is really good when we get it started, but I don't think it's the first thing we have to do. We don't have to, too much cold waves to worry about, so the subsurface heater is probably not a priority. I don't think any of these first ones are tremendously critical to research first, other than, of course, it will reveal more tech. I think I'm going to pop this drone swarm over here. If we can get this done before we build our first drone hub, because we do start with one prefab, it'll be nice because we'll get a couple extra drones for free. So we'll go ahead and throw that into the queue. Um, and actually, unlocking the farm right away is also going to be really good. Okay, we'll throw both of those into the queue. That's going to be great. What is... What is that site? What is that? A vista. Increased comfort, increased baby-making rate. Maybe I will drop here first, because that first dome... Well, we kind of need a first dome to be near some, some metal as well, but... This is a little bit more centered. Now, all right, we'll drop over here. It's going to be fine. And placement doesn't matter too terribly much. We'll go somewhere like here. Maybe a little closer this way, just to leave extra room for the dome. Although, theoretically, we'll launch this rocket before we ever um, we, we ever build that dome. All right, terraforming hint, you can go away. Uh, oh, I do need to actually uh, schedule some sectors to scan. Um, so, we'll just surround things like this, and then queue those up over there. Okay. I don't remember, is there a quick M? That's what it is. It's been a while since I played, actually. I do really enjoy this game, but it has been some time. There you go, you're there. We can reset the view. There might be another hotkey, actually, to reset the camera angle. I don't usually rotate things around. There's our RC driller, so it's actually not going to do anything right away, because we don't have a deposit for it to work on. Uh, but hopefully we'll get one soon. Let me just move you slightly out of the way. Let's set up some initial construction. Um... For things we know we need. First of all, we need the concrete extractor. This is the regular one. Too far from working drone commander, which is a little weird because this is actually going to act as a drone commander. There you go. The warning goes away. I guess we were just still doing the initial unload. Um, there's the drone hub. We may be able to wait a bit before we get that down. What I'm going to do is just make a big power cable. Well, I guess it gets blocked there. That's fine. We'll put another one in that direction. That's going to be okay too. We'll just get a water pipe ready to go. And oh, uh, what we need is we need some storage right away. So we'll put a universal storage over there. We'll also get a concrete depot because what's going to happen is our little drones will unpack our, our, our rocket here. Which has got some resources we need to get started. So we'll do that, get the concrete extractor. And yeah, our little drones will also go around and pick up the metal that's on the surface. So we'll go to the middle speed. The mouse over says three times. Oh, I guess it's normally three and five, but with my mod, it's five and ten. It doesn't change the tooltip, but it does change the speeds, which is going to be very handy to keep things going. All right, build that, build this. And then the other thing we're going to build right away, as quickly as possible, is we're going to plop down some sensor towers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to put them as far away as we can while still being in range of the drone commander. So they, I, because of the futurist, I start with a tech that means they don't require, um, there we go. They don't require power or maintenance. They do require some material to build still. Um, so one metal, one electronics will be consumed with that. And uh, they, I mean, you do, I do also need them to be in drone range. But the sensor towers increase scan speed everywhere on the planet. So you get a 10% boost to your scan speed on any tile for each tower. Plus tiles that are close by will get a significant speed increase. They'll, they'll go at like, 300% kind of thing. So, uh, very substantial thing. So we will scan the surrounding sectors really, really quickly. Hopefully you find water for the science boost, plus just generally water would be very useful. We did almost certainly... Yeah, we have one moisture evaporator, but it's not really going to be enough. Although I suppose I could slap it down and put down a fuel factory right away, because we have prefabs for both. That actually might not be a terrible idea. 
think I will. Moisture evaporator. And I think it produces one and the fuel factory will consume one, so I don't think we have to worry about storing water or anything. Although we might want to put down a water tower sooner rather than later. So, I'll go ahead. I'll, I'll, I'll plop it down. Um, I'll just put this lower priority so other things will get built first, including the, the various towers that are kicking around, and that's going to be okay. And then, yeah, as soon as we get our first scan, hopefully we'll find a deposit and we can work I with the RC driller. Found uh, we found an anomaly right away. Wait, over here? Oh, a meteor must have landed. Yeah, a little bit of meteors that hit. Sometimes when the meteors land, they leave little chunks of metal. And some... Oh, duh, power. And then sometimes they... Um... Oh, we start with the Sterling generator. Yes, please. Um... High priority. Uh, sometimes they leave little chunks of metal, or even polymers, and sometimes they just leave, leave science anomalies, which is really nice. Please build to me the Sterling generator ASAP. I can't actually click it over here, which is too bad, because I want to go ahead and open that up. If I hit home, yeah, home resets the camera. Good. So, we're going to have power now. The Sterling generator is really good for that. Um, let's take a quick look. How is the elevation bonus? 35% elevation boost. It's not great, but it's something. Great leap. Oh, random event! Scientific team on Earth just made a daunting discovery. With the downpour of new scientific data from Mars, our team made an unheard breakthrough in the field. A new advanced technology has been revealed in the chosen field. We'll cop the new technology, so the one technology will cost less research. Early on, there's there tends to be some key things in both physics and robotics to unlock. I think physics gives us access to the shuttle hubs, which are incredibly important for expanding our base. And under robotics, I think, is uh, where we can get the... Do we get the Explorer science boost from there? I think we get the automated um, Explorer and Transporter behavior, which is really good. And we'll pop physics. So what did that do? Oh shit, way down here. Okay, well, nuclear fusion will be available. We're not going to start on that. We need workers to work in that. So um, there's no need to rush that. But I don't know. I guess that's convenient. Sure. Uh, yeah, right. Low, low power storage. We don't actually have batteries. I guess we could get started on that. Now, I should make sure to construct more stuff outside of the dust range of this thing, actually. Uh, here, we can extend you out this way now. Let's get a couple of batteries, and then we'll be in a position to build some solar panels as we use more power. Okay, so the sensors are up, so we should. you can see here, look at this, the um, sensor tower boost, 272%, 350%. You can see it. It goes super sick fast. Oh! The anomalies reminded me. I want to send another cargo rocket away, right away. I want an RC commander because it can um, uh, control drones in an area around it because it's mobile drone control. I want one explorer to pop the anomalies. We want one transport because it can pick up resources from the terrain. I don't need a safari. I don't think we need another driller right now. Um, do we go for more prefab buildings? We probably want a second drone hub available because we the tech for the drone hub it, it's ran. There's some. There's weighted randomness to where the techs show up in the tree. Sometimes the drone hubs can be quite late in the order, and that can be really, really poor. Um, moisture evaporator. Let's say a couple of those. Um, a small machine parts factory might be useful. But maybe what I'll do is I'll just grab some... A little electronics, a little polymers. So we're lowest on that right now. And then we've got a tiny bit more weight. I'll grab an extra drone, because more drones is often handy. It's weird that my rockets are just called start number one and start number two. As opposed to, like, Russian names? Or maybe it is a Russian word that I don't know, but why is it the same one? Twice. Did something glitch? Hmm. Alright, batteries are there. They will start filling with power, because we do produce a little bit of excess. Well, we'll want those in place for our... Um, when we get solar power. Maybe building it now is a little bit dumb, but I mean, we, we're going to build it no matter what, so it's going to be okay. So, um, oh, let's set up a little storage for fuel. Anomaly found. More anomalies. But right now, this is being refueled. We'll be ready to send it out. I see tourist is a separate category over here with the new icon. That's new. The other thing that's different with the uh, tourism update is that tourists are no longer a quirk. It is now a specialization which I wonder why they actually made that change. Because I think uh, some a bunch of things broke because of that, like a bunch of little mods and you know some of the things in their update they're having to tweak does that. But they must have had a reason for making a specialization as opposed to a um, 
a cork because it like it'll tie into something else they're working on. Oh, have we found a, a deposit yet? Thank you. You come over here, mine this metal. So we're gonna put our little RC drill to work. And yeah, it's just gonna sit there and extract metals from this uh, automatically. It's gonna waste some of the material, so it's less ideal overall. There's rare underground metals there too. This might be a good place for um, a hub. I'm still gonna go and mine the metal. Yeah, I'm still gonna do that. That's gonna Milestone be okay. Milestone achieved. We found water. Excellent. Okay, so where is it exactly? Over here. Uh, so we'll certainly want to expand into that area to gain access to the water. We don't have to have to, a dome there or anything. I, I, what are we looking at here? Ah, very low grade. A lot of water, though. So it's going to pump slowly. We'll probably have to have more than one extractor. But it does mean we need fewer vaporators, which will be handy. Will be very convenient. I haven't put down the drone hub yet because I'm still waiting for uh, the r drone swarm to finish so that we get the, the extra two drones before we put that down. These shuttles really do take a long time to get anywhere. I don't think there's anything else I need to rush to, to get done right now. I think I can just go up to speed, or I guess I am over here, um, and, and kind of wait. I guess I can start constructing the dome. We may want to do the dome over here. Like, we can use the drill to extract this, but I mean, we're going to want one, one mine for one of those, if not both. Yeah, I kind of like the idea of doing this. So I'll have to wrap around... Good thing I set the extra drone hub. Now, there's still the vista here. Uh, no, there. So we still might want a dome here later, just because it's going to be good for making babies. Uh, because of the extra comfort boost. Oh! Right, I didn't look at the uh, sponsor mission goals. So, um, find eight deposits, get eight free supply pods. That's handy. Produce 50 concrete in a single soul. We get some apartment prefabs. Extract metals. We get a bunch of money. That'll be useful. Have three extractors working 160 performance. Permanent increase of rare metals price. Oh. Oh. That's interesting, because I think a lot of times the extractors, I don't actually boost their performance with things like, um, uh, the fueled upgrade. Uh, sometimes I don't do the ones that they use more power, for example. But I think in this case we will. We'll also maybe prioritize geologists a little bit. Huh. All right. There's going to be a dust storm coming. Um, that is going to be slightly annoying. We can't launch or land rockets while that's running. It'll dust up a bunch of things. Um, it also kills solar power. Now, we're not reliant on there yet. Mostly what it's going to do is we're going to put a limit on our first dome. And it, of course, we would like to hit as many milestones as we can. Um, and some of that is construct a dome, first human on Mars, so that might slow things down a wee bit. Hopefully not too, too much. Alright, I'm just gonna go ahead and bring power down this way. Like, oh, what about the dome and things, and whatever. No, this is gonna be okay. We're going to scooch you down over this way. And as soon as our drone tech, which is nearly done, we'll put down some hubs. And yeah, first dust storm coming. Moxies, vaporators, and solar panels outside of domes go down. The dust is also theoretically quite poor for our Starling generator, but we might just put up with the maintenance. Um, I'm going to go and drop you over here because you do provide some drone range. There we go. We'll do that. We'll dust up a few things, but it's going to be okay. And then we get our new little machines as well. So our RC Explorer, so we can scan our first anomaly. So we'll do that. What I'd like to do is scan all the anomalies that unlock new techs before we unlock the ones that give us um, the research boost. Uh, the RC Transport, we're also going to... Um, the Universal Depot set up over here. Actually, the plan for a metal depot. We've got a metal... Uh, resource right over there. And what RC transport, what I'm going to do is just select an area that's a little further from our base. Well, we haven't scanned a lot of these places. Okay, over here, there's tons of metal, right? So we'll do this, tell it to collect all the metal, and then drop it off in this area over here because we'll want to use it. That's going to be great. What's the other thing I brought? Oh yeah, the RC commander. So we can move you over here just to give even more RC range. We haven't even built a, uh, a drone hub yet, but we've got pretty good coverage now which is hopefully going to be Research very useful. Complete. Drone swarm is done. So now I can build the drone hubs wherever we want, but we may we may still just wait until we're sure about exactly where we want them. I don't know. I should probably build one over here where we dome. So let's plan the first dome, actually. 
Now, I quite like building the barrel dome to get started. Uh, it has a little bit more space inside. You can't build a spire, but it's going to take a long time before we can build a spire. So if we do this, it will cover the areas where there is um, there is some mining available. Let me switch to this so we can actually see that connection point and then use it. And yeah, we'll just have the, uh, the pipe connect. This is going to be a lot of pipe and it's going to be some extra maintenance, which is going to be slightly annoying. But I think it is the right place to build our first dome over here. So this place is sort of kind of going to become obsolete, other than the fact that we'll have to do a little bit of maintenance in the area. Uh, we can get more concrete extraction going on in over here, which is going to be handy. None of power. Oh yeah, because it's not actually connected to Milestone anything. Achieved. I'm going to wait to build the solar panels. We've analyzed material from the anomaly, and it completely validates our hypothesis on a. Oh uh, yeah, I want tech discounts. 500 mil is not that much money. Um, I'll, I'll go with the engineering one just to mix it up a little bit. We scan an anomaly, which is great. Speaking of, we can do this anomaly. Thank you very much. Using that new UI found. button from the mod. More anomalies found. Boom, 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 drone loads. Okay, I think we are, If we're, I mean, we're definitely gonna have to have a drone hub over here to cover this dome and all the work in the area that's gonna happen. We'll slap that down right over there. We also know we're going to need, um, we're going to want some extra oxygen tanks, water tanks, and batteries by the dome in case there is a break, the dome doesn't lose out right away. And we can wait on that a little bit for the dust storm. We'll hopefully get the milestone for building the first dome. Anomaly hopefully we're not too far from launching this guy. Okay, fuel's coming in. There's New more to the barren environment. Acid the probe, dozer rover. None of those are terribly exciting. This is, probes are cheaper and can deep scan. I don't tend to use probes, maybe I should more. Um, and then the dozer rover will be nice later, but it would have been nice if it had revealed something more useful. Oh, explore AI. No, we need this right away. Uh, this was revealed when we completed Drone Swarm. So this we get 100 science per soul from each RC Explorer. Multiple vehicles do lower it. When you get two um, R uh, RC Explorers, they produce 90 each instead of 100 each. Uh, it probably was worth getting a second one just for a little bit more passive science for the whole course of the game. You know, spend money for science. It's a little bit like doing the outsourcing but it does last forever. And then as a bonus, you can scan in all these a little faster. Um, let's go, we're still gonna go, let me do it this way, so I can shift click. I'm gonna keep scanning things that might reveal tech before we do things that uh, will just give us a science boost. Although I suppose, hold on, no, let's do this because the sooner we can get the, because we know we wanna get the explore AI thing so that we get the free science. So that's gonna be fair. Because sometimes I wanna reveal stuff in case there's a critical breakthrough. So I want to reveal the breakthrough and then apply the science to that. But this for sure, 100%, we're going to do that. So our science per soul is going to go from 200 to 300, which is going to be really, really handy. Research complete. Done. Explore AI is done. What did you reveal? RC transports. This is this is handy, but it's not something I have to rush towards unless I want to use it to reveal something else. Um, what we're going to do is I'll put this in the queue just so that we don't end up with an empty thing. Plus, eventually we're going to want to research this to reveal more stuff in physics. And at least it's cheap, so it'll go fast. We can launch our very first rocket. We can do that now. I don't think we have any anomalies to scan. We can't do spying or anything like that. So no, we're going to launch you. That'll be another milestone. And then you'll be ready to bring passengers. Milestone. Since we have eight free supply pods, we can definitely count on this bringing uh, passengers. So a bit more free science. Dust storm is coming. Uh, oh, yes, you've lost your controller. Well, tell you what then, let's slap down our drone hub at this point, and I think I'll move it a little further inland. Like that. So it'll cover everything we've got built with a little bit of extra space, but then, you know, uh, not quite overlap over here, although this is going to act as that. And of course, we can use the RC Commander as sort of an intermediate. I don't think the prefab has to be brought from anywhere, so I'm just going to go and park you here. Our initial spectrographic analysis confirmed it. Chromium. To find okay. such a rich... Okay, a deeper metal, metal deposit, and that one's probably going to be really rich, but we, weren't, we can't exploit the deeper metals for a while, so we'll just take the tech discount some more. That's our second engineering discount. It is nice to stack them. It's the equivalent of a lot of science per day. Boom, there you go. So you're now covering this area. 
And maybe what I'll do is I'll move you over here so that you can help cover this area for now. But yeah, we don't have any water coming in right now. Oh, the fuel refineries I will put down to lowest priority. So if there's a water shortage, they get the last kick, um, kick at the can. But it doesn't matter right now. Where's the leak detected? Okay, but you are in range to do some repairs. We found signs of native life. Native life, wow. Um, we can get more applicants. I think we'll just take the money here. Applicants don't tend to be a problem, I find. It's not going to be built because it needs machine parts, which probably have to be brought from over here. Although, you know what? We're going to need more machine parts regardless. So I think this is going to be a great time. We're going to do a supply rocket. I'll just bring machine parts because we're going to need more. I mean, we're going to need other things, but we'll, we'll do a few launches. Uh, the supply rockets go a lot faster, the supply pods. Research complete. Start number three. Yeah, they have... The names are not working the right way, or the way they used to. So, what do we have here? This is an upgrade for moist evaporators, which is very nice. We've got all the discounts to engineering, I guess. i tell you what, I'll, I'll, I'll pop this to reveal more. We may throw this in the queue. We may do some reorganizing. Some reordering, we'll see. No more anomalies I can scan? Nope. I can't reach down there. That's being scanned now. We'll just queue up a few more. The scanning will start to slow down now because um, it's further away from our sensor towers, but that's okay. I mean, I could end up building one over here to help us scan down the canyon, but we don't need that yet. The detected is presumably being fixed. It is a great dust storm, not just a regular dust storm. But we're almost through it. Yeah, so the machine parts will land over here so we can get the concrete, which means the dome will be able to be completed. Although, I should also send polymers. Actually, let me do that now. Supply pod uh, filled with polymers. Launch. And you're going to land uh, over here so you don't dust up things too badly. And then we can tear you apart, which will give us some metal as well, which is nice. There we go. You're going to get going. Oh, you know what I just realized? Um, I need to put down some dumping sites here. And up over here. For all the waste rock so it doesn't get filled up. And I think I'll put a concrete depot. Actually, I think two here and here. I mean, the depots themselves don't cost anything, so we may as well. Uh, we got a power leak detected, but it's being fixed. That's good. Um, we have negative power right now. It's time to get our solar panels on. So, lure panels. Uh, so, I'm going to build them, I don't know, over here. Hopefully it's not a problem getting metal. Um, we'll build some wind turbines as well. Wind turbines need, uh, they're more resource intensive to build. Um, because they need machine parts. Solar panels only need metal. And they only need metal for maintenance as well, which is really nice. But of course they only work during the day, and they don't work during sandstorms. Um... The wind turbines work all the time and actually get a boost during sandstorms, which is interesting, but they do need machine parts to maintain. We'll get some polymers. Now. Boom. And salvage. And this should get built. So, I think we can go... Oh, a rocket's not there yet. Yeah, these travel times, man. It's nearly back to Earth. Uh, this one will take a while because there's actually no fuel being made over here. Um, which... I might start to do. In fact, I think I will. Do we have a prefab for the fuel generator? No, we don't. Okay, I may have to move some things. We'll see. I did bring the extra moisture evaporators, which may or may not have been what we needed, but I guess it's going to be fine. Um, let's actually build some over here. Uh, that's going to get dusted from the mine, so we'll do this. You just want them to be outside of the area that covers each other. Like that. I mean, the white areas can overlap, but you can't have the buildings inside those white areas. Or you get reduced production. So we'll get those down for excess water production. I mean, they didn't all need to be down right away, and maybe I shouldn't have, because now there's going to be maintenance. Although, luckily, they only need metal to maintain. And that's not so much of a problem with our dozer drills and everything. Power's Okay. This is going to get built as soon as the concrete finishes, which is happening. Um, so my little transport here, um, what I'm going to do, let me put over here, I'll just put a universal depot over here, which we're going to need to like move our resources back and forth anyway. But yeah, my transport, I can tell it to, uh, from over here, actually we don't have any fuel right now, because we were low on water, but it should start to happen. Um, you're going to bring fuel from there to over here. 
Although I guess if you fail to grab any, it will like cancel the job. How come they're not working? Anomaly found. Or were you being stored in the Universal Depot? I don't know. New anomaly. Pleased to be investigating. Thank you. So yeah, the scanning's a lot slower now, but that's okay. Boom, boom, boom. I guess there's a tiny bit I can scan there, maybe, to spot something on the upper edge, but not much. Okay, the rocket has arrived. You're still unloading from here. Maybe the um, RC commander. I'm going to move you over here to help work this a little faster. I guess the plan's going to be a universal storage over here. A food depot, which I'm always going to want near my little bases. And I know we already get the one metal... Um, Depot, but I'm gonna get another couple here in preparation for the mine, like that. Anomaly the analysis analyze. tells us that we've. Oh found my God, we're getting all the tech discounts. That's that's pretty good. I'm not gonna complain about that. Oh, we got more rare metals and more metals. I I guess this is a metal-rich site. That's true. That was a thing. Speaking of, I could pull you off of the metal and then put you on the rare metal so we can start, you know, making some money, maybe? That's another Vista over there. For more baby making, potentially in the future. Um, there's no reason to go and tap this while we've got the water from our vaporators right now. Okay, planetary anomalies, that will be nice to start doing. I guess the, the drones must be moving the fuel from here to over here. Oh, is this? Oh, yeah! I didn't realize that um, this depot covers the rocket and the fuel thing. So you are being fueled up, which is going to be fine. So we don't actually have to worry about doing uh, transporter shenanigans, which means I can go and put you back on metal collection duty. Uh, grab metals and bring them over here. Research complete. Subsurface heating is done, which was not something I, t I felt like we needed terribly quickly, but we needed to reveal more stuff. Extract applications, not something I'm looking for, you know, quickly. I'm just might wait for engineering because we got a 20% discount. We might just wait for fuel compression to finish and then see what it reveals because it is going to be so, so cheap. Sector scan. Right, that's nearly done. Anomaly found. Passenger rocket. Okay, we're going to change our filters over here. We're going to do a few little things. Quark wise, I mean, we don't really care. Um, they don't like being near a ranch. But we don't need to do ranches because we actually have the farming tech right away. So what we'll do is we'll update the vegans. And actually, I mean, there's no reason not to um, increase the, the gurus as well. So as long as we don't make ranches, the vegans are just going to be a huge win for us. Um, flaws. Yeah, I mean, I guess that, that's going to have to be fine. Um, perks. So generally all the perks are, are appealing other than the ones early on that might require extra um an extra recreation so party man animals require social i think does a diner make social because i tend to build the diners hold on a sec because i I'll usually build a diner in all of my bases and actually the space bars add social as well so the party animals really not bad Yeah, so they get additional comfort when you use social interest, and that should be okay. Um, the fit people want exercise. Parks and stuff provide exercise, so that's pretty easy. I'm not going to bring gamers because we may not build the gaming buildings early on. Uh, the geniuses are always good. Uh, the hippies, uh, gardens and parks, well, we're going to be building those. Uh, nerds get happy when we research, so there's no reason not to bring those. Uh, religious people is actually quite handy because they have more morale and they never commit suicide. Rugged's very good as well. Saint's very good. Sexy from birth rate, sure. Survivors are good. Uh, and then workaholics. Workaholics don't actually need relaxation. So all those traits we want to upvote so that the people with those traits are more likely to come. Um, huh. I don't remember that filter, but you know, I'm sure, I guess if we had a really big mismatch and things, we'd do that. In terms of specialization, part of me is tempted... Uh, first of all, we don't want to bring tourists at all. So this is a specialization now instead of a perk. Um, part of me is wondering for the first group if we actually uh, just don't bring any specializations. Because these specializations, you can see, also have extra needs. Okay, well the engineers need dining 
Um, which we're gonna have anyway, probably, because we'll bring a diner, so I'm fine with bringing those. Maybe I won't upvote. Officers need exercise, which we're gonna have, so they don't have to be banned. Geologists need drinking. Well, as long as we build a space bar, and the geologists are good for mining, so maybe we do actually want to do that. See, botanists are great for farming, but they need luxury, and I don't think we're gonna be building any luxury early on. Um, medics are also great, but they need luxury. So I'm going to do this because the idea here is that my first dome, we're going to be really limited in what kind of happiness we can provide. So we're going to go and just downvote people who are we're going to require comfort buildings that we don't have, we, we can't offer. And other than that, that's fine. Yeah, we're not bringing the very old or the very young because they can't work. Um, so that's going to be our first launch. We got some, some engineers, geologists, a bunch of no specialization people. Uh, but these are people with potentially, you know, um, good traits, nerd, sexy, nerd, glutton is bad, but not going to kill us. So yeah. All right. We'll go ahead and launch with this. I know we don't have the capacity, but it is a very long trip and we are nearly done building the dome and the building size will be fine. We don't have access to apartments right away, but that's okay because first of all, the living quarters that we're going to be building, uh, the living complex rather, has room for 14 people. Living quarters and living complex I think are the same, except different size, because um, these are just three times bigger. Actually, they do end up with a little bit more residential space, which is good. Meteor swarm. Oh, that could be really annoying. Hopefully it's going to be okay. Um, but yeah, the living complex is a higher uh, comfort than apartments anyway, which increases the chance that we get a baby and get the first Martian born. So yeah, we don't have the lasers to shoot down meteor uh, the meteors. Luckily, this is going to happen before our first colonists are here because colonists do lose sanity during disasters. Milestone achieved. Uh, we've constructed them. Oh, Brazil was about to, to complete it. We get the warning that Brazil was about to complete the dome, but we did it first. We get the free science. Lovely. Um, you are lacking. Well, you're lacking in oxygen is what you're lacking. Uh, let, let's set those up first, the life support stuff. First of all, I want two more water towers by this first dome brings us to a total of three i want to be able to store a bunch of it oxygen tanks especially because we get dust storms and during dust storms our vaporators and our moxies don't work so we're gonna get you know what i'm gonna get four oxygen tanks set up over here uh and you know what hold on i guess we'll go with three and three that's gonna that's gonna be okay so we have three water towers in total three oxygen tanks in total uh and then we'll have to get the moxies to get rid of the uh, the warnings that has no life support Resources are low. One Moxie should be fine. This should provide all the oxygen we need. Especially if we're preloading it. These things are complaining they're not connected Meteor to any oxygen. Incoming. Meteor. Okay, that's fine. It does a leak that we have to fix, but it's not a big deal. Oh, wait, you have no... Okay, drone hubs have to be high priority so that they can fix things. Um, but also, this leak is actually out of range of other things. So we'll have to send the RC commander over there to cover that so that we don't lose everything. Or we need to deconstruct a little bit so that this little extra bit isn't actually connected to anything, which might not be a terrible idea. Wait. That wasn't actually the meteor storm. That was just a random meteor. Oh, man. Okay. Um, I would like a landing pad over here. Let's put it uh, facing this way. That way we can land our rockets without dust. Research complete. Fuel compression. Um, fuel compression is not terribly exciting. Rocket cargo space is increased. Yeah, I mean, it's fine. It's not too bad. Um, unlock apartments, I mean, is good. I think the hydroscopic vaporator is going to be nice because we don't have to build as many, which means less maintenance. I don't think there's anything we need short term. So what we might do is sort of queue up one of everything over here. And this might get reordered. I guess the transport optimization. We don't actually have the discount for that yet. Let me cancel you. I mean, there's some good stuff in robotics, but we've got some discounts to some of these. Let's see what we reveal. Maybe there's going to be a, a, a key tech that's actually going to be helpful. The apartment won't be bad. Don't get me wrong, but we don't actually need to worry about it. We don't need the space, and the higher comfort will increase the chance that we get a bebe a little faster, and that's going to be very good for us. Uh, we oh, got a science anomaly. Please to be scanning. Very handy little UI button. Mm -hmm. And of course, at some point, we'll just get our automated rovers and we won't have to manage any of that, which is going to be particularly nice for our transports. So that our transport uh, can just strip mine all the loose metal all over the planet. 
especially as we get more um, resources are low. Uh, more meteors that hit us. Low water. Oh, I think it's it's warning us because I think this is a percentage or the soul duration. Okay, we do have an an excess of water slowly building. It's not resources much. Resources are low. Sector scanned. Ah. We extracted two hundred metals, completed a goal, giving us a ton of money. Now, I could outsource for faster tech. I think, because we're in a high difficulty map, I think I'm going to sit on it um, and hope that we... Um, uh, I am going to build these just so that we have a little bit of extra water production. Um, I'm going to sit on it and hope that we... We, we can just use it for emergencies to, to purchase things uh, in, a, in case we're in a situation where we get kind of screwed. Research complete. Anomaly analyzed. Boom, boom, boom. Anomaly analyzed for a bunch of uh, uh, research. Hydroscopic vaporators are done. That's going to reveal low G fungi. I don't know. I like the farms are probably good. Uh, working out a building, it is nice that it doesn't take uh, space in the dome, but workers who work outside of the dome... Oh my god, I'm 45 minutes into this episode. i got to put a cut. Um, workers who work outside of the dome lose sanity from doing that, so it's not quite as appealing, although it's a nice consistent source of food as opposed to the burst that is the farming. Um, we do have to get... Uh, our, our shuttle's almost here. We do have to get you... Um, how are you doing? Okay, we do have to get this dome set up, but we should be able to get that going. They can sit in orbit for like... What, 72 hours or something like that? So they're go they're going to be fine. We're going to be okay. But we do have to get cracking on the dome. I'm happy that we're uh, we're getting the, the water set up over here. Although, once this rocket leaves, this will be out of range. Also, you know what we need? We need another fueling prefab so that we can fuel over here. Okay, well, I gotta put a cut in here. We need we need another drone hub to cover this. Or I suppose the RC Explorer can do that. If I, yeah, hold on. We're going to pull back on this a whole bunch, so we don't have any cable or anything that's outside of range of this. So we don't need the RC Explorer over here or the RC Commander. So the RC Commander can go here and babysit that. Um, and that's going to be okay. We may have to transport some resources so that it can build these things, but that's going to be okay. All right, folks, we're going to put a cut in here. I hope you're as interested in some more Surviving Mars as I am playing it. I really do enjoy this game. I'm looking forward to this challenge. 500% or 550% difficulty Russian run. Again, we'll probably not get Gagarin's Legacy because I think the difficulty is going to be so high that we can't focus on extracting resources. Although if we do, it'll be a nice bonus. But mostly we're trying to do no pain, no gain so that we can get uh, 500 people with this 500% difficulty map, and that'll be quite fun. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.